Welcome back to my channel. Today we're building a large container port, cross the bay with the glorious Golden Gate Bridge and finish off the build with a metro depot. Okay, let's go. Many of you have always been asking me to explain the thought processes behind my builds. I've tried to do that now in this video, so let me know if you like this new format. We're starting off with reconfiguring the waterfront with cut and fill road keys. Artificial shorelines in real life have always all sorts of different shapes and will result most of the time from the pre-existing natural circumstances. Here I will change the angle slightly so it won't continue in a straight line from my previous build. To increase the footprint of the harbor, I also placed down a rail cargo terminal. At container ports, you will always see huge rail yards where containers can transfer from ships onto trains. This one is obviously not super functional, but will also provide rail access for the nearby industrial area. You will always see me placing down stone mining specialized industry facilities through the whole episode. The zoning tool works like surface painter and the grey texture looks from a distance at least pretty much like concrete. Like that, you can easily fill in oddly shaped spaces between your growables. Here I extended the land by quite a bit into the sea. I did that to have an even larger harbor area to place two container terminals right next to each other. The peninsula also serves as a foundation for the later placed Golden Gate Bridge and a metro depot as well as some industrial buildings. As you can see, the sea routes get a bit messed up. Unfortunately, only two of the three cargo terminals are actually usable, but otherwise there will probably be too much boat traffic anyway. Now we must first redirect the ship route so its center is right in the middle of the Golden Gate Bridge. At first, I wasn't particularly sure if I should use the bridge or not, because it's simply too iconic to place in another city than San Francisco itself. But the asset is really great and has a really high quality, not like many others. In the end, I'm super happy I did it, the bridge just fits in perfectly. 
And I'm super happy they finally fixed the ridiculously long distances between bridge pillars, now they are finally more realistic and it's much more fun to mess around with bridges and interchanges. Here I created another outside road connection and it got immediately used after I connected the bridge to the rest of the city's road network. Crazy how we already reached the edge of the map, but this transition to the outer map has to be fixed, the textures are really low and there are no trees at all. Please don't hate me for that, but elementary schools upgraded with the extension wings look like warehouses or piers from a greater distance at least. I used them for that purpose, but one huge advantage is we always have enough capacity for elementary schools and don't have to place them inside residential areas, because let's be honest, they look quite ugly and are way too large. Or what do you think about that? Oh, what was that? I now use only trees. With that mod, trees instantly grow to adult trees and have a longer lifespan. This whole tree growing mechanic is super annoying as a detailer like me, and I'm glad there are mods out there to fix that. But we should have a button to disable that to begin with. Lastly, I will build the first metro depot. We don't have a line in the city yet, but I definitely plan to build one from here over the university of episode 15 to the commie blocks into the downtown of the first major city of the map. To the left of us, we will see another huge city to grow very soon. Fish in the sea, but there's one I'm chasing after. I'm 
I'm not afraid to tell the world who I choose, baby, it's you. Oh, can I dance for you? Hey, would that be cool? Can I dance for you? Would that be cool? I don't get like this, but I kind of miss your attention. Did I mention? Now we're approaching the end of this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video style. If you really like the content, you could consider joining my Patreon. You will also get access to the latest save games, like this for example, and more content like screenshots or some real life stuff. Other than that, don't forget to like the video and have a nice rest of the day. Thanks for watching.